Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. I thought today I would do a little craft haul for you because it's been a while hasn't it since we've had one of those and uh, this week I went to Hobbycraft with uh, my friend Rosie Hutchinson Makinson. Um, together we are part of the team that run the British Polymer Clay Guild North West Branch and also um, Rosie is one of my um, patrons on Patreon. So if you want to check out my Patreon page, it is Unruly Housewife. And I want to thank Rosie for doing that for me and also for giving me a lift to Hobbycraft. Now you can see there that Hobbycraft is in a place called Stockport. And Rosie put, <laughs> got a sat nav and she put in the postcode for Stockport that she thought, which you can see there is SK1. But um, she actually put SK10, so uh, we went to uh, Stockport on a kind of circuitous route on our way to Macclesfield. <laughs> so <laughs> our half hour trip to Stockport took us um, an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> we did stop off to go to the loo on the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, we went to Hobbycraft and this is my haul. Let's crack on. Okay, the first thing I bought was this really useful pink storage box and that's the brand not my opinion of it although it is my opinion too because it's really useful I love these boxes and uh, this is 1.6 litres capacity um, looks like I've already had looks like I've already had some polymer clay in there but I don't know how um, there it is and yeah I absolutely love these they're really tough I could stand on that and it wouldn't break they're just the most appealing kind of box you could ever get so yeah I got that and it cost me three pounds which is a bargain and if you are American that is four dollars and nineteen cents I thought I'd do the prices in in uh, GBP and in uh, US dollars because well it's just interesting isn't it Okay, so that's my really useful box. The next thing I got were these two brown mini paper mache heart boxes. Um, and I got I got these because I thought I would be able to cover them in polymer clay. Rosie's covered them before and they haven't like fallen apart or melted. So yeah, I bought two of those and uh, you can look out for those. Hopefully I will cover them at some point in the near future but you know me it could be next year <laughs> um, and they were £1.20 each that's £2.40 for the pair so they were $3.35 to buy those two I don't know how these prices compare with America but I bet they're going to be more expensive um, these prices are are they including tax let me see yep they include tax so I suppose there is that Okay, next thing up is um, the cotton shopping bag. Now, a bit of a story about this. I have a wish list on Amazon and somebody has bought me some things from my wish list, which is very exciting. And I had some fabric pens on there and it looks like they've been ordered for me. They haven't arrived yet. None of the things have arrived yet, but somebody has been buying things from my wish list. Which is so kind and so I thought for fun I would buy this plain canvas shopping bag because wouldn't it be great to like you know do some writing or designs on there so I bought that that was a pound which is one dollar and forty cents at the moment obviously I'm doing the exchange rate today so there you go that's exciting the next thing I'm going to look at is my clear mini stamp and there it is and it's a Hobbycraft's own brand um, shall I open it? yeah why not it's just a clear stamp I've got uh, one of those acrylic blocks so I can put it on there and it's a little tray that's in plastic so it looks pretty nice And it costs £1.20, which is $1.67. And I really hope that if you are watching this and you're American, you'll let me know what you think about these prices. 
The next thing I bought were uh, was a set of six PBO round brushes or PBO. They were three pound fifty or four dollars and eighty eight cents, and I think that they're going to be really good quality. I may be wrong, but I have an inkling they will be. And I wanted some nice fine brushes. Um, I've got a lot of tiny Pandora brushes and they're really, really good. But I wanted some um, of these as well. So there you go. A bit of boring grey handles though, what's that about? The next thing that I bought were some Dovecraft mini alphabet stamps. I bought two sets of those, two different designs, and they were £4 or $5.58. And uh, they look really cute, look. And they look nice and so again i'm not stamping on paper with those i want them well i may but i'm going to use them primarily for clay i think always good to have small things because i like making small things uh, next up we have this which is the aluminium circular palette and this was two pounds which is two dollars and 79 cents I wanted it to mix things in. It's pretty rough actually. <laughs> it's like it's been kicked around. I've only just opened it. Um, I wanted it to uh, mix things in, but then Rosie suggested that we could also use it for making hollow beads. So we can cut out circular beads and lay them over these, bake them in the oven and then double them up, put an edge. Anyway, yeah. So that was pretty good. Um, I thought that was pretty good value. Don't know about you. Okay, this is annoying. These are canvas designer. I think they're for, um, what are they for? I think they're for people who do sewing and stuff. And I got 10 of these and they cost five pounds but they were supposed to cost two pound fifty and what happened was they charged me for two packets how annoying is that they charged me at the till so <laughs> i'm pretty annoyed about that but i'm not going to try and get rosie to take me back there in the car <laughs> i don't know where i'll end up london probably <laughs> um, i gave half of these to rosie that's why they're already open in thankfulness for my lift and what i thought i could do with them is to cut out you know shapes out of them and use them as templates because you know there's they're, they're sort of pre-measured aren't they i thought i could do that with a craft knife i don't know if it would work and also obviously we can use them for textures on the clay so that's those and as i say they would have been reasonably inexpensive had i not been charged twice which meant that i was charged six dollars and 98 cents appalling and this uh, I also bought this precision max super glue for three pounds and that's four dollars and 19 cents it's loctite super glue and I'm going to use it because I'm putting a um, boona cord like this into uh, metal findings um, to make uh, magnet magnetic uh, clasps and um, I've heard that it works with, with clay as well, so I'm going to try it out, but that's what I got it for really was for my findings. Okay, so that is um, my the haul that I got from Hobbycraft. But I've also got one more thing I want to show you, and it's this. It's Glad Press and Seal. Out the right way. Glad Press and Seal. Now, this has been recommended to me because it's safe to use with polymer clay and it's really good for sort of layering up blends and things that you want to keep and you can also put it around uh, canes I think this is 70 square feet it's not really available in the UK as far as I know I think it might be available under a different name but anyway I decided to order this from Amazon and I just don't know what you'll say if, if you're American I don't know what you pay for it but I paid nine pounds <laughs> for this when I asked David how much it, I thought it would cost me, it had cost me, he said a pound. <laughs> when I said no, nine pounds, he said something that I can't repeat, <laughs> which is $12.57. So <laughs> I don't know what people think of that, but there's 70 square feet of it. I'll be wrapping up on polymer clay forever with that, won't I? So that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and yeah i'll be back and hopefully make another video soon i love you all bye bye